Of course, I have great memories of the day I was ordained a priest. It was something I was building up to for a number of years. You know, you study for it, you, you kind of dream about it, and then you think it might not happen, and then it, it is happening. And this feeling that this, this is exactly where God wants me to be, and thank God for this day. If you ever get a chance to go to an ordination, you should really, really go, because it's such a joyous day. And then I remember coming up to the time when I, was, I knew I was going to be called forward to present myself for ordination. I remember I took my mother's hand, like a little boy, and um, I gave it a squeeze and I said, okay, I'm gone now and I'm doing it. But um, it was just one of these moments like that I was going forward and this is something that I was ready to do, but it's also a sense of, of leaving something behind in a good way, and, but also then taking them with me into this, new, into this new life that I was about to start. But then also making promises and kneeling before the bishop, making a promise of obedience, and then you have the beautiful moment of the Litany of Saints when I'm lying flat on the ground prostrate before God and before everyone in, in the assembly. That, that, that was the moment when I was kind of left to my own thoughts. I was the only one prostrated on the floor. I was the only one who was in that position and, it was, and everyone was praying for me as well. And then the prayer of consecration over you. And that moment becoming a priest and all the priests coming up and laying their hands on you Again, some beautiful moments. And another very important moment is when your, your clothes is in the vestments of a priest. So I asked my mother and um, the retired parish priest in my parish, and my mother was crying, but it was just a real beautiful moment that I was being vested in the clothes of the priest. And I, at, at that stage, I was a priest forever, please God. And to give my mother a big hug, and um, there's a beautiful photo that hangs on my wall of that moment. and my sister's bringing up the chalice and the pattern for me to make my promise upon that. And again, just the involvement of my family and all my friends and family around for support. And then also going forward into my new family, the, the priests of the diocese and my friends who are priests from all over Ireland. And then they coming forward and giving me the, the kiss of peace and the embrace. And they're the moments I'll remember for the rest of my life. I can remember coming up on the altar to take my seat beside the bishop and I sat down and the bishop kind of took me by the hand and gave it a, a bit of a squeeze and said, well done. Uh, and that was a moment also, a moment of welcome, a moment of embrace. And, and then the whole place kind of erupted into applause and everyone stood up and um, I'm, I'm quite shy. So that was, that was, but it was lovely because everyone was there was, was applauding, not the fact that I was become a priest, was, was applauding the work that was being done and the, the work of the Holy Spirit and the work of God that there that day. My ordination day and any ordination day is such a, it's such a joyous day. Everyone was there and welcoming, and I remember everyone smiling and everyone wanting to come up to me and to congratulate me, but th like they would any new priest. Because people love to see new priests, people love to see such a, an important occasion in the church. And, and I remember then the next night, people lining up for the first blessings, and so many people came out. I remember be, again feeling so unworthy to give them a blessing. People coming up who I've known for most of my life coming to get my blessing, but to get God's blessing. Um, and again, that's another moment, so many moments that will stay with me forever.